Hello friends, so super late video tonight, it's 7-11 at night, and uh, I never make videos this late, but uh, there was a girl who's a subscriber of mine who was having trouble with this leak code problem. I have a two sums algorithm uh, tutorial on my channel, but on that one, I don't actually do, I don't return the indexes, I actually just return the numbers, uh, the elements, so it's a little bit easier. Returning the indexes is a little bit harder, but not that bad. So basically whenever you want to return indexes or you want to keep track of indexes, you might want to think about being like, well, I need an object to, uh, to keep track of things. So <clears throat> I'll show you how to do that real quick. So uh, in this, um, this array right here, let's say that's our test array, and we're looking for 9. Basically, 2 and 7 add up to 9. So we should return 0 and 1 in an array because that's the indexes of it. Okay. So let's go right here and we'll go const obj because we're going to have to have an object to push things to to keep track of our to keep track of our indexes. So then we'll loop through the array for let i equals 0 i less than r dot length i plus plus looping through the array, then we can go up here, we can actually just declare let needed number. We'll just declare it up here and then down here we'll actually assign it. So we'll declare the needed number, and then on each loop, needed number is going to equal the target minus, um, actually, it's not r, it's nums. Nums is the name of the array. So it'll just be nums at i, which is the current number that we're on. So needed number equals target minus nums at i, and we'll say if needed number, if needed number is in, obj so if it's there then we just want to return so if object already has it we just want to return an array with obj at needed number which will give us the index and then the i which is the index of the current number that we're on otherwise um, obj at nums at me at uh, at i is going to equal i, and then here we'll just return null if nothing is found. Okay, so this should return zero and one. So let's run it. Uh, we got problems. Num is not defined on line what target nums uh, nums. Okay, so let's run it again, and then I'll go through it again a little bit slower. Okay, so it is returning 0 and 1. I'm going to paste this in and make sure that it works, and then I'll go over exactly what's going on with it a little bit slower. Paste it in. Run the code. Come on, you bastard. Okay, so that's good. So we submit it. Apparently, I solved this algorithm on December 10th of 2019 as well. So it's 93% faster than other ones, 38. So it ain't, it's, it's okay. It's an okay solution. So let's go over it. Basically what you're doing here, the idea is we're going to create an object that's going to keep track of all of our indexes and numbers. So the elements, it'll keep track of if we're pushing two in there, basically in the object, it would look like this. Object equals... Uh, the two would look like this. Well, it would actually be a string. Like two at index position zero. And then seven would be at index position one. So if we ever call on one of these, we can have access to, to either the element or the index. The next one would be 11 at index position two. And then 15, 15 at index position three. So that's what our, our object would look like at the end, right, if we got that far. But the idea is we create this empty object, and then we know we're going to declare a needed number, which means our target minus our current number. So in for let i equals 0, i less than nums.length, i++, plus plus, we're just looping through the array. Right here on each loop, we're going to say the needed number is going to equal the target minus the current number, which is nums at i. So the current number on this one would be 2. So it would say if needed number is in object. So that would mean if the key of needed number is in this object, then we want to do this bit of logic. We want to return this. But in the first one, it's not. So we would just make object 
at nums at i is going to equal i. So i in this one is 0, nums at 0 is going to be 2, and object at nums, so it's basically just going to do this to our object. So our object is going to equal, and it would just have the 2, which is nums at i is 2, object at nums at i, would put this in object, and will equal i, which is 0. And then it'll move on to the next loop. The next loop will say needed number will be target minus nums at i. So nums at i is 7. So target minus nums at i. So 9, which is our target. See down here, 9 is our target. So 9 minus 7 is going to equal 2. That will be our needed number. And we'll say if 2 is in object as a key, well, we can see down here that we've already got that. So this would return true. So we'll just return an array with object at needed number, which is going to give us this zero. Whenever you go object, use bracket syntax, object at needed number is going to return the value. So if you push the key in, it's going to return the value. So object needed number is going to return this to an i, which is at right now, which is at one. So this is going to return the index that we passed in right here, which is going to return to zero. And this is going to return the, the index of the current number, which is right here, which is going to be one because we're on index. We're on the, the second iteration of the loop. So it's zero, one. So let's run it again. Return zero, one. So let's say that we, the, let's say that this was uh, 12 right here, the seven right here, and then the two was right here. This should return zero, one, two. So it should return one and two right here. So let's save it. Should return one and two. It does return to one and two. Okay, so that's how you return indexes, create an object. It's a little bit confusing, but just uh, you know, just watch the video, go over the code, step through it line by line. If you're not very sure about working with objects, work on that a little bit. I think I have some videos on objects in on my channel. So yeah, I hope this helps. Take it easy.